Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to AWS RDS instance for MyRDB. I have connected to my AWS management console with my credentials. Click on services, then search for RDS. Click on RDS. Also notice here, I am in US East Ohio region. See, these are the Amazon RDS resources. At present, all are zero because I don't have any DB instances. Click on create database. See here, we have two methods standard create or easy create. I'm going with standard create. Engine options we have Aurora MySQL, Aurora PostgreSQL compatible, MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL, Oracle, and MSSQL server. Select MariaDB. Once we selected, see, it populated the information about MariaDB. See, it is community edge. See, these are the list of the available MariaDB versions. I am going with latest one, that is 10.6.14. Then templates, we have to select production dev or pre-tire. I am going with pre-tire. You can select based on your requirement then provide name for db instance i am giving mr db1 and this is the master username this is required at the time of connection then provide password for this master username and it will be failed because i have given at the rate in the password also see constraints at least eight Printable ASCII characters cannot contain any of the following slash, single quote, double quote, and add sign. So be careful. Then, then we have to select DB instance class. Select only non grayed out options. I am going with the default one that is db t3.micro. Why remaining are grayed out? Because we have selected free tire. Then storage general purpose, general purpose SSD GP2, GP3, IO01, magnetic. I am going with the first one that is general purpose SSD GP2. Allocated storage we can give up to 6144 gigabytes. I am going with 20 gigabytes. For remaining options, I am not changing. Here, availability multi zone disabled because this is free tire. Connectivity, keep all as it is. Network type IPv4, V8, new VPC. We don't have VPC. That's why it is create new VPC. Otherwise, if you have any VPC, then we can find in drop down. Subnet also create new db subnet group public access click on s security group if you want select an existing select existing otherwise if you want to create separate you have to select create new i am going with existing one availability zones these are the availability zones in this region no preference is fine this is the certificate authority db database authentication i am going with password authentication only Monitoring, if you want to enable, you can enable. See, this is the estimated monthly cost. This is the storage cost. If you are satisfied with all these settings, then click on create database. Close this one. See, in databases we have one database. Its status is still creating. Refresh until it is running. Click on this DB identifier. If you want to see the credentials, you have to click on View Credentials. I know the credentials, so I am closing. 
wait it will populate this endpoint port number on the remaining options go back databases still it is creating refresh again see its status is changed also notice here it has populated endpoint this is used to connect to this maria db we will see that now we are going to see how to connect to maria db aws rds click on instance copy this endpoint Open Workbench. Don't have MySQL Workbench? Install it. Click on this plus button for connection. Then provide the name Maria DB1. Then at the host we have to give our RDS endpoint name here username is admin store involved we have to provide password click on ok click on test connection it will be failed why i will show you the c unable to connect to local host why because go to rds then Click on VPC security proof. Now click on inbound rules. Click on edit inbound rules. Click on add rule. Custom TCP then double three zero six. Then here source my IP. Then click on save rules. Then go to my SQL. Then click on again test connection. This is just warning. Click on continue anyway. It is successful. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on Maria DB1. Click on continue anyway. See, we have successfully connected to our Maria DB AWS RDS instance. So in this video, we have seen how to create and connect. MariaDB AWS RDS instance. For more cloud and AWS videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.